Look a little backwards. You feel ready? Let's do it. Hello, hello. We are Trisha and Gabriel from different sides of the world, but brought together by nursing school. After a couple years of travel nursing, we are taking a break to just travel. We are going around the world in a hundred days, but probably more, and hoping to see a few friends along the way. So follow along with us as we simply live our lives in many cities across the globe. During our first week in Cape Town, while atop Table Mountain, we offered to take a photo for a solo traveler. By the end of our time here, we had spent the entire week sightseeing together. Traveling with someone new brought a whole different perspective to the city, and we did things we probably would have missed had it been just the two of us. Traveling has a special way of exposing you to new people. It can easily be the highlight of your time if you're willing and open to the possibility. Thank you, Kaki, for making our week in Cape Town very unique and memorable. We have been staying at the Sellers Hotel. So it's up in, what's this area called? Constantia. Constantia, which is on the opposite side of Table Mountain from the main part of Cape Town. But we can see Table Mountain actually from our room. And it's like a boutique hotel that's paired with a larger hotel brand. That's how we ended up here. But it is, I mean, adorable kind of like you entered a different world. It was an old farm turned hotel. So there's like geese that wander around the property. Apparently there's tortoises that wander around here too. The guy warned us not to be afraid, but I haven't seen them yet. The restaurant's really nice. They've got like a hair salon on the property. It just seems really quite quaint and I, I personally quite enjoy it. our last day in Cape Town, South Africa. We have just been going, being tourists this time. So it's kind of gone by in a flash, but let me tell you, say hi to Gabe. Let me tell you that this city and this spot really surprised, I think, both of us. It might be a secret, but I'm letting it out. It looks like California, guys. The coastline, there is Chapman's Peak Drive and it is essentially Highway 1. We took pictures to compare to our Highway 1 drive and it's a lot the same. Other things we've kind of been... Or California looks like Cape Town. Or California looks like Cape Town. Cape Town probably came first. <laughs> yeah. Other things we've kind of been up to and then I'm sure we'll go through with some videos. If you do the hop on hop off bus, do it the first day. We thought we were gonna do it, but it was already past the first day, so there's no point. We did take the, was it the gondola? No, it's not a gondola. Uh, Table Mountain cable car? The cable car up to the top of Table Mountain. It will give you a great <laughs> overview of the city, also explaining the different neighborhoods and the different areas. There's the CBD or the main part of the city, which is like in a bowl, surrounded by Tabletop Mountain, 
Fun fact, fun fact about Table Mountain, it does not actually shape like a table, but it gets quite cloudy and the clouds and the fog over the mountain look like a tablecloth cool but it shows you the main bowl of the city it also shows you the vna waterfront and then the seaside neighborhood where like you find camps bay mm -hmm. and is, that camps bay also? is camps bay and there's another one clifton beach mm, maybe mm -hmm. there's a whole wine scene out here okay a whole wine scene. You can take a wine trolley and go to all of them. We're not necessarily wine people, so we chose the prettiest, best rated one, and we went there. And it was good. There was one that was supposed to taste like oysters. That one wasn't good. But the rest were good. And we did do something which was on our bucket list. We don't really have a bucket list, but this was just something that we did for doing sake, and we drove to the southern tip of Africa well, southeasterly south trip of Africa. We rented a car. We drove on the opposite side of the road. We drove on the left side. I don't know why you keep saying we. Uh, I drove. I directed. <laughs> you know, the uh, left okay. and right, your uh, way, my way is different. All right, sure. Yeah. So we drove down. We saw the su southeastern, southwestern. It, I think it's the southeast. We saw the Cape of Good Hope, went down to the point. Southwestern. We saw the Cape of Good Hope. We went there, all it really is is a sign, but the coolest thing I think is that we saw ostriches down there on the beach. And uh, didn't you see like a... Uh, we saw some sort of like antelope. Yeah, it's like a... Uh, she said what it was. It's a big antelope. And baboons. Don't the baboons? feed the baboons. We didn't see any and I'm happy about that happy about that we also went to bocap which is a neighborhood kind of right in downtown that is full of extremely colorful buildings and that's kind of just symbolization of the past of freedom people once they were free could paint their houses whatever they wanted it's a beautiful neighborhood and then we did chapman's peak drive california looks like this place Tonight we're going to the VNA waterfront, which is basically this giant pier filled with anything your heart can imagine and all the tourists because it's only tourists there. It's got the time out market, which is this huge area full of food vendors. I got the Malay food, the butter chicken curry. That's good. It's good. We're also getting chicken suya. Some of you guys would really know us know. So suya is a Nigerian dish, but it's always beef. But I made a chicken version. Didn't know other people did, but we found chicken suya. So we're gonna try it and test it with plantain and ketchup. Alright, this is the chicken suya. Alright. The real critic. Good. It's good? The ketchup is really good. It's the plantain ketchup that Gabe was mad about is pretty good. This is like a vacation city. The weather is opposite from what I'm assuming most of you are thinking. So opposite of Europe, the US, that jazz. So it's summer here and that's great. But somebody told me fall is the best time to visit because it's not so, so hot, but it's the least rainy and the least windy season. And you can go do some safaris. You can dive in a cage with sharks. But remember, this is the place where all the killer whales are eating sharks. So I wouldn't recommend that. You can take like boat cruises. You can do, there's so many hikes. There's so many outdoor activities as well to do. This place actually has it all. And I could come here often.
Let's thank you, Tom. We drove on the left side and we made it. Gibbo said that this is enjoyment. This right here. That's what was flying. They're ducks. Absolutely no. They're ducks. I feel like I'm too funny. What? I feel like I'm too funny. You too funny. <laughs> Sorry, I'll video this instead. We're doing something that we haven't done in a while. My fault. I'll take. I'll take the out. This flight has changed from four hours to five hours to six hours. Now to seven. Uh, I'm amazed. Yeah, I don't know what's happening.